Hi, everyone. My name is Heron. I'm a student recruiter for College of Natural and Applied Sciences. I have background in combined degree of computer science and visual arts and an after degree in education. Today, I'm very excited to talk to you about faculty of kinesiology, sport and recreation. First, I want to start by saying that the University of Alberta acknowledges that we are located on Treaty 6 territory and respects the histories, languages, and cultures of First Nations, Métis, Inuit, and all First Peoples of Canada, whose presence continues to enrich our vibrant community. We have deep roots and a long history of leadership and innovation in Alberta. Canada and the world. The University of Alberta is pretty well known to be ranked within the top five universities in Canada and top 150 universities in the world. In addition, I would like to emphasize that in the past few years, U of A has been placed in the top 10 for its quality of sports related subjects in the world. To tell you more about the faculty of KSR, every undergraduate student participates in a professional practicum at the end of their degree that is related to their field of study. The practicum gives students invaluable hands-on work experience and they get to put their theories they've been learning for the past four years into practice. Sometimes practicum experiences can even result in job opportunities after graduation. We have great international university partners for exchange and study abroad opportunities where students can take courses that transfer to their degree program requirements, not just option courses. This means that doing a semester abroad does not slow down your degree, nor do you have to take an extra semester. Our partners are in Czech Republic, UK, Norway, and Germany. One of our exchange partners have been ranked number one in sports related subjects in the world. We offer a variety of hands-on learning experiences uh, through labs, activity courses, community service learning, and more. Specific examples, in KIN 400, uh, it's a human anatomy course where you get to work on human cadavers. Or INTD 282, it's a mountain backcountry field course, a week-long backpacking summer experience in the Rockies for academic credits. There are various undergraduate research opportunities should you be interested in gaining experience and unique expertise, such as the effects of exercise and movements on cells and neurons. In addition, you can pursue a research certificate in kinesiology to spruce up your degree. There are various research facilities, which I will go over shortly. As competitive as the admissions may be, we have smaller class sizes compared to other faculties and universities across Canada with an average of 30 students per class. The faculty is tight knit and interactive with over 50 years of excellence. We have a student society that offers, uh, offers academic, social and charitable events, including a KSR camp. Each year, over 100 new KSR students get to spend the weekend together playing sports, creating skits, and dancing the Saturday night away. We have outstanding state-of-the-art facilities, classrooms, laboratories, and physical activity, recreation, sports facilities. This includes over $200 million in facilities that spend over 400,000 square feet on both North Campus and South Campus. Here are some pictures. So starting with the North Campus, from the top left, we have the Climbing Center, where you can do activities like bouldering, high wall climbing, top roping, and lead climbing. And we have Hands and Fitness and Lifestyle Center with ample exercise equipment to serve all students on North Campus. And we have a couple of aquatic center, uh, each of them seats at least 150 audience. Then we have Claire Drake Arena, uh, Claire Drake Arena, which provides seating for 2,600 people, uh, featuring 16,000 square feet of ice. Uh, then we have Dorothy Harris Dance Studio, uh, which has 5,900 square feet of space, equipped with pro projector uh, and whiteboard, along with ballet bars uh, installed on the east and west walls. And this building is called Butter Dome. So Butter Dome has many different um, like facilities available. Uh, so part of it is that we have 200 meter indoor tracks, uh, we have indoor soccer field, um, there's basketball courts and volleyball, tennis and badminton courts um, all across Butter Dome. And we can also seat about 5,500 audience in there as well. Uh, this is great for during winter times when it gets cold, you can still practice your sports. Uh, if we also, there is also um, a Stedworth Center for adaptive physical activities as well. 
And in the bottom left corner, we have multi-purpose rooms that you can book uh, for uh, multi-use uh, to practice or host yoga, dance, gymnastics, or fitness classes. Um, there's also outdoor spaces and fields uh, that you can book for beach volleyball, rugby, ultimate frisbee, or any outdoor sporting activities. And this is the climbing center here. Uh, this is a Henson Fitness uh, Center. And this yellow part is the Butter Dome. We also have South Campus that is well known to be the hub of sports facilities. We have football, uh, foot field, uh, a multi-use sport training and competition facility designed for football, track and field, and soccer. Uh, we also have 3,000 square feet of fitness center, 30,000 square feet of gymnastics center, high performance training and research center located in South Campus, um, a tennis court and curring arena, which are designated also for national uh, athletes to practice in. Uh, we have about 12 FIBA size basketball courts and hardwood uh, volleyball courts available as well. Some of the facilities are also research-based. So I, I mentioned the Sedware Center earlier where there are research, teaching and service facilitation in physical activity, fitness and sports for those with disability. The Sports Performance Center offers a unique training and research environment in high performance sports. Uh, the center is a living laboratory incorporating the faculty's sports research and sports science expertise with varsity, provincial and national level athletes. The Glenn Sather Sports Medicine Clinic incorporates service services in sports and exercise-based musculoskeletal and sports medicine care like physicians, physiotherapists, sports, sports scientists to deliver care to athletes. This also serves as an educational and research facility for KSR undergraduates and graduate students. The Behavioral Medicine Laboratory is focused on generating new knowledge on how physical activity can help cancer patients prepare, cope, and recover after treatments to improve long-term quality of life and survival. Now let's get right into the programs offered at the Faculty of KSR. Uh, we have Bachelor of Kinesiology, uh, Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology, uh, Bachelor of Arts in Recreation, Sports, and Tourism. Uh, and a combined degree of Bachelor of Kinesiology and Bachelor of Education, uh, both in elementary or secondary route. So Bachelor of Kinesiology, uh, it provides multidisciplinary approach to the study of human movements uh, that includes both the art and science of human movements, such as exercise science, athletic performance, and promotion of long-term health outcomes. Uh, there are four majors available currently. So we have adapted physical activity, physical activity and health, sport performance, and individualized major, which you can uh, kind of self-design your own major based on your interest. Uh, there used to be sport coaching, which is not offered anymore. Uh, some of the careers that you can get into with um, a BKIN is a kinesiologist, a certified personal trainer, certified exercise physiologist, etc. And some courses you can take is advanced sports and injury management, uh, social dimensions of health promotion. Uh, and the practicum that some of our students have went previously is uh, for River Valley Health as a sport a psychologist assistant, uh, for EPS, a fitness and li active lifestyle coordinator, and working for University of Alberta athletes as a student varsity therapist. Now this bachelor's of science and kinesiology degree has a strong scientific focus on the biological and physical science of human movement, um, like enhancement of human performance or health promotion uh, and prevention and management of chronic disease. This degree is greatest for those who are interested in science and research in correlation to human body and exercise. Now, there is no major for this degree, as it is very much a scientific focused. Uh, some of the careers that you can go into is uh, exercise rehabilitation, exercise specialist, uh, working in ergonomics field, etc. Um, you can also take some organic chemistry courses, uh, cardiopulmonary exercise physiology courses here. 
And some of the practicums offered is through Covenant Center for Lung Health as an exercise specialist, uh, Canadian Paraplegic Association uh, in the, one of their programs called Adapted uh, Wilderness Adventures Program, working with kids, and uh, Leading Edge Physiotherapy as a physiotherapy assistant. Now, the Bachelor of Arts in Recreation, Sports, and Tourism is a liberal arts degree that allows students to include coursework from across the university while focusing on the application of recreation and sports in society. Uh, students can create a diversified degree program that aligns with their individual interests uh, through selection of one of these three options. Um, so optional minors, uh, we have community development, uh, sport and recreation management, and tourism and natural environments. Uh, now, some of the example careers that you can go into is community development facilitator, tourism uh, promotion coordinator, recreation and sports administrator, etc. And some courses you can take is the business of hockey and marketing for recreation, sport and tourism. Um, practicums that you can take. Uh, you can possibly take is through FC Edmonton Professional Soccer Club uh, or working in Alberta Health Services in the Foothills Medical Center and uh, also working in the Calgary Zoo uh, as an education program assistant. And last but not least, um, we have a Bachelor of Kinesiology and Bachelor of Education, a combined degree. Uh, so this is a five-year degree and students can receive both the Bachelor of Kinesiology degree as well as uh, the Bachelor of Education degree. Uh, this joint, uh, joint degree uh, combines the art and science of kinesiology with the fundamentals of education. The program provides students a specialization in human performance while also providing accreditation as a teacher in either elementary or secondary education. And within secondary route, uh, you can also choose a major and a minor. Usually the major would be um, the physical education uh, and the minor you can choose uh, it to be any kind of um, subjects uh, within the uh, secondary school. Uh, some of the possible careers, obviously uh, becoming a teacher. So elementary school teacher, secondary school teacher, uh, working with child and youth, um, and any curriculum developer, policy developer, health promotion, et cetera. Um, some courses you can take is the study of games for children and youth, uh, also indigenous culture, uh, curriculum and pedagogy. As practicums will be happening within the elementary, uh, junior high or senior high schools. In addition to the undergraduate degree programs, you can spruce up your degree by enrolling into one of these certificates only available to KSR students. The certificate in sport, uh, in sorry, sorry, the certificate in Aboriginal sport and recreation is focused on producing the next generation of leaders to study and improve Aboriginal community health uh, through academics and experiential learning. This certificate is available to all KSR students. The research certificate in kinesiology provides students in the uh, Bachelor of Science of Kinesiology uh, or Bachelor of Kinesiology degree programs an opportunity to build unique expertise in research during their undergraduate programs. Students will take nine credits in research methods, data collection, data handling, and analysis, uh, and take an additional 12 credits in the research area of your passion, such as adapted physical activity, coaching studies, uh, and, and sports uh, psychology, uh, neuroscience and movement, uh, physiology, recreation, sports and tourism, and more. And again, this is only open to BKIN or BSC KIN students only. Our undergraduate degrees are great foundational programs for further study. Often, uh, KSR students use their bachelor's degree to apply into medicine, physical therapy, occupational therapy, law, business, and education programs, or further studies, uh, further their studies within uh, our faculty with master's or doctoral programs in sports recreation and kinesiology. Many of these professional programs will accept all bachelor's uh, degree in all fields. However, specifically in, uh, in physical therapy or occupational therapy require specific courses that are mostly offered in BKIN or BSC KIN degrees.
Now admissions. Um, BKIN and BSC KIN are similar programs. Uh, so BKIN has a has more flexible degree structure, uh, whereas BSC KIN is strict uh, is strict and involves more science courses. This also reflects uh, in the admissions requirement for BSC KIN. Uh, so you need English 30-1, Chemistry 30, Physics 30, Mathematics 30-1. And uh, one of these uh, options here, so biology 30 or physics education 30 or recreation leadership um, advanced in CTS course. And all the other degrees, so in um, BKIN or BARST or BKIN and uh, BED, a combined degree, uh, the admissions requirement is uh, English 30-1 and four options. Uh, the options would vary uh, based on uh, what what is uh, listed online. So I would really recommend that you visit uab.ca slash programs for more information. The minimum average to be considered is, um, it, average grade to be considered is 70%. Um, overall on the five required uh, admission subjects. However, all of our programs are competitive and normally require higher admission GPA. So we encourage you to apply early as admission is competitive, works on a rolling basis, and space in each program is limited. Uh, now, please don't forget about English language proficiency requirements. Uh, if you have completed at least three years of full-time education or equivalent in English uh, in Canada or another country where the primary uh, language of instruction is in English, excluding ESL, uh, you will have met the ELP requirement automatically, okay? Uh, but uh, if you have not, then you can take uh, either IELTS, TOEFL, um, Duolingo exam, or uh, take a diploma exam for English 30-1. We invite you to visit our website to learn more useful information to apply to the University of Alberta and faculty of KSR. We have recently launched a virtual view book for those who haven't received the physical copy of a view book yet. Uh, you, can, you can find this at uab.ca slash start. Uh, you can also book advising sessions with the general perspective or KSR specific advisor at uab.ca slash advising. And another great resource is our uab.ca slash recruitment events uh, page for all prospective students who are looking to learn more about U of A, the community, and the vibe. When you're ready, head over to uab.ca slash apply to start your application. Our applications open from October 1st. And as I mentioned earlier, please apply early as admissions are competitive. You can learn more about Faculty of KSR at uab.ca slash KSR. And for any questions that you may have, uh, please visit us at our KSR booth at the open house or email us at ksr.info at uAlberta.ca. Thank you.